Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this video of Anubav Learning Series, we will learn about how to pass select options in ABAP language to an ABAP managed data procedure. In our ABAP on HANA come S4 HANA training, we have learned about how to write SQL script code from scratch, different types of SQL script blocks, and how to code ABAP managed data procedures. This video is being recorded specially for the students who have taken my ABAP on HANA training for them to go ahead and look at the next level where they can pass the select options from ABAP system to an HANA procedure using AMDP. So it's fairly simple to achieve this requirement which is a two-step process. In the step number one what we will be doing is we will be converting our select option to a string which is nothing but a where clause using this standard SAP ABAP utility class called CLSHDB cell tab. We will be using the static method called combine cell tabs. And in the step two, we will go ahead and learn how to pass this select where condition to the apply filter function, which is a built-in function in HANA, to use it in SQL script and filter our data from an implicit table. So for this to achieve, Let's quickly switch back to our ABAP program and we're going to write first of all ABAP managed data procedure and then later part of time I am going to go ahead and create the report program on top of it. So I'll go back and create a new ABAP class which is going to be an ABAP managed data procedure. I will be sharing this complete source code with all of you in the description of the current video. So you guys can go ahead and download this code and try yourself in your SAP NetWeaver system. So let's type an AMDP cell OPT. Testing AMDP with select options. And I'll click on finish. So I'll be creating this ABAP Managed Data Procedure class. So go to the public section and I'll say interfaces. IF AMDP marker HDB and now we'll be creating our static method which is nothing but our AMDP method and I'll say load sales data so I will be loading the sales data for a given business partner select option and for given currency code range so we'll be passing two ranges inside so first import parameter is going to be a fair condition importing variable where of type string and we will be having export parameter value tt result of type and I've already created a table type in the system for your reference called ZTT underscore SW sales. Now if I just quickly go ahead and show you this table type which I've created Control shift a in ADD and quickly switch and look at this table type and we will be able to find out the structure of this table type which we will return out so you can see this is the structure of the data which we will return out of our ABAP managed data procedure so we'll switch back and I'm going to define this method so in uh, ABAP development tool in Eclipse you have a very nice option available to quick fix so just click on this button and you can say add implementation for this method and you see the system automatically generates the code over here now as you all know from the basics of ABAP managed data procedure we are going to go ahead and write this ABAP managed data procedure in the system and defining it as a special EMDP method so by database procedure for HDB language SQL script and we will be using only it for read only purpose. So let's make it options read only using, and I will be using two database tables, so called BPA and sales order table. So that's our method. And as you can see, it's showing me a design time error. Reason being, I'm not returning anything out of this method at the moment. So let's first create an internal table, which is an implicit internal table to select the data from my business partner table. I will be selecting the client field as a first column then business partner ID it should be in the same order the way that is 
given as part of your structure company name currency code sales order id from the sales order table and billing status of the sales order we'll do a join with the table sales order table with a join condition as my business partner node key compared with the sales order buyer grid and of course my client field is equals to client field over here fantastic so now next is take this itap and return this out by applying the filter so it's very straightforward so you can say et result is equals to we will be using hana function called apply filter and in this the first argument is my internal table and the second argument is going to be my where condition that's it i'll just save this up everything looks nice and we can activate our procedure got activated and it's time to go back to an abap report create select option and pass this where string before which we will be using the utility class as i mentioned just now so let me create a report program i'll go back to edit and we will create an abap report program z test select option emdp let's finish it off and what you're going to do very fa fairly straightforward create two select options so let's first declare my declaration and of course now the select options and for select option is business partner of type bpid and the second one is i want to use currency code control space for code completion in abap development tool on eclipse and now as usual we will create a where condition over here and this is where we will use the utility class cl shdb so select option for hana database hdb stands for hana database selection tab and in this class we have a static method called combine cell tabs and of course all the cell tabs needs to be passed over here and for which now we will be use the, using the dynamic value expression syntax in abap if you are not so comfortable with new abap syntax i would strongly recommend you to subscribe my abap on ana training so that you will get trained on these things from the scratch so in our abap on ana training we will be covering more in detail these new abap syntaxes including value expressions so i'll pass a value expression with the value of name of the parameter its business partner id and data reference is of type ref this is a reference expression another new abap syntax and we'll pass this select option for business partner so that's my first reference value and of course this is going to be my row one so i'm going to pass it in the parenthesis and then i'm going to be having a row two like this over here so second parameter is my currency code and we'll pass this currency code as a dref over here nice now together with this uh, what we can also pass is the client field if you wish to do so so maybe i would like to also pass my client field as um, another property to perform an end operation so in the value expression we can also pass um, iv client field and which is the field which is representing client is this particular field so that's the construction of your select option over here in form of a string nice 
Now what we're going to do is simply call our ABAP Manage Data Procedure by passing this select condition and also receive the data. So receiving of the data as usual, I'm going to create an internal table type ZTT underscore our data type, which we just declared over there, SW sales. And of course, the chain expression. And let's go back and call the ABAP Manage Data Procedure over here. So we go back to the ABAP Manage Data Procedure class and call the static method load sales. Shift enter as a shortcut and pass this where condition. It receives the result back from HANA into your internal table. And let's print out the result on the screen. CL demo output. Display data. And now we will pass this internal table over here. Nice. Let's activate our program. If everything goes well, then we have a successful, success, a successful select operation, which we can pass and we can receive the values. So I'm going to first go through the table. So let me open the table. What kind of records we have in this sales order table? I'm going to check that up so that we can accordingly check the results. So we go to sales order table and do a data preview quickly in the table. And we can see here we have business partner range from 5000, 5022234 and so on. And then we have currencies in the range of uh, possibly, let me just check. Yeah, here it's almost in euros. Everything is in euros. So, of course, I'm going to take up some range, maybe 5284 to maybe 5318. Yeah. So, maybe I'm just going to copy this so that I can pass this up and we go back and test our report now. So, let's execute F8 and system will show you select options. Of course, you can do an F4 help here because we have a reference from the data element. That's the reason we can reference from you can search or you can directly type in and I'll say just get me from 5318 and I want everything from US dollars to euros I think euro should come first to US dollars and I can just go ahead and execute and the procedure does all the processing in HANA and returns you the results back awesome so this is all your sales orders for a given uh, set of customers who have uh, been traded on uh, US dollars and euros for these respective business partners. So with that, it's a wrap on today's session on how to pass select options to your ABAP managed data procedure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up, share and like. And I will see you in the next video.